I always kind of think in, in visual images when I'm writing music. But these pieces are based on old Irish tunes. So uh, my thought was when we talked about using photography, I was thinking about maybe some Irish landscapes and, and things like that. The response from my point of view is essentially around landscape and environment. Th these ideas are, are, are pretty new to me, but you know, uh, obviously with a name like mine, I have some, I have some Irish ancestry, but Good I've never you, been, <laughs> I've never been there. And, and okay. so I've seen pictures uh, of Irish landscapes. My folks, came from Tipperary, and that's pretty landlocked from what I see in the map. But for instance, with the second piece, She Walked Through the Fair, that's an old ghost story uh, in the song. But, right. but somehow I was thinking of ocean and tides and, and seabirds. And I, I, that's what I was trying to emulate in the set with the sound there and yes I was thinking of um, in the other pieces not necessarily uh, people reacting but with scenes of old buildings druidic ruins things like that yes I think we're we are we're very much in tune in that respect um, and I have a lot of material that I think would be worth considering. The Little Red Fox sounds like a children's song, but a, a, a game song. It's almost a parrot like some of our uh, political parody songs that we hear now, because these were Irish people who were complaining about the English landlords. And so the Red Fox was stealing their geese, the Red Fox who were representing the British who were coming in and just stealing their land and making slaves out of the Irish people. Um, I don't think that needs to be represented in uh, in a visual form. Mm -hmm. uh, I, um, the second song is uh, almost a ghost story of a lost love who appears to, uh, she sees him at the fair and tells him that it won't be long till their wedding day. And then she disappears into the, into the fair and is never seen again until she appears as a ghost at his, the foot of his bed. The last one is a tavern song about, uh, well, uh, they, he loves his little whiskey jar and he doesn't need other kind of, of uh, riches and, and, and possessions as long as he has his, a full whiskey jar. I think of a lot in, in these songs more like things that are in the past and, and we're having um, uh, nostalgia. So that's why I was thinking more in the case of landscapes or scenery, not necessarily with people, but, but just places that you might, we might be nostalgic about. I would just love to be, to, to be in Ireland and to see it and, and to see the ground that where my ancestors came from. I see it in my head and I've seen pictures in, in books and, and uh, some of the old castles or old places like, like the deserted villages, water, places on where, where water is running, streams or, or even the, the ocean. I, or mists where where things are not quite clear, but it's just there's a mist hanging there, and these are the things that that 
that I visualize when I think about Ireland, uh, a burden of history. I'm hearing and relishing. If I am out and about with a camera, what really catches my eye uh, are, are, are the, the images around concerning um, <clears throat> the landscape, the dry stone walls, uh, the yeah. buildings as previously occupied and now no longer. Um, so, uh, and then in terms of mist and rain, <laughs> we got plenty of that. My response to the music uh, as composed is very much around um, playing the, pl playing it as as I walk through the landscape. Um, so uh, I don't think it needs people. Traditionally, as you say, the parting glass would is, is about goodbyes um, mm -hmm. and is a very it's it's a beautiful piece of music. Um, it might not be necessary to have individual people faces images um, for it to be just as effective uh, in creating a sense of longing or a sense of loss or uh, yes. what, what one is leaving what one is leaving behind human beings always long for something and a lot of times we have memories that we don't want to let go of they may not have anything to do with these particular songs but maybe with the sounds that people hear and that those sounds will evoke certain feelings in people if they see certain images along with those feelings it doesn't necessarily mean that story but it can bring out the stories that the listeners have inside them would you envisage any images for example from the famine period such as there was a, a civil response to set up workhouses for example and there is a workhouse museum not far from me with uh, with the building still standing. Now, I don't know if that's too political a statement to make or if it's a significant part of the Irish experience. Um, that's great. You can't right. get too political because, I mean, the, I'm, I, I'm, I am a uh, bleeding heart liberal. That sort of event and family history is very normal and ordinary here in Ireland where yeah. You know, there was, there was that period in the, in the mid-1840s where times were very hard. A lot of people died or a lot of people emigrated. And mm -hmm. um, the UK and the United States is where a lot of people ended up. And that was a really signal moment in the Irish psyche. And it has lasting residual uh, sense of loss. It's still very much current. If that music... Put those images in your head. Oh, without without doubt, Molly. Yeah, without doubt. Uh, then that is exactly what what I love when people hear my music. They have their own stories, their own visions that they see, and you have it right there because the music came from your country. It's sort of my memory of things that I haven't had. Yes, I understand.